Well, 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 there he is, in the flesh, Cudgel himself. You know, it's been over a month since you last posted anything, and over three months since your last custom amiibo video. And as we all know, right before you take these breaks, you tend to just leave without any warning. We haven't seen you in over a month, Cudgel. And while it's a nice change of pace to not see your ugly mug, you leave us here with no way of making videos or paying rent. Were you in the shed again? We've seen you go in there for months at a time. What do you even do in there? What's with the shed, Cudgel? Tell us, tell us about the shed. No dude, I was just at the store getting you the chips you wanted. Oh sweet, the cheese flavored kind? Well, you see, not exactly. So, I was looking around for the chips for a few weeks, then I finally found them inside a Walmart, but then I got lost inside the Walmart and it took me another few weeks to find the exit, during which I had to eat your chips so that I wouldn't starve to death. Uh, but then I realized, wait, I don't have any of the chips that you sent me out here in the first place for. So up at the front, I got you a pack of batteries because I figured like you're a robot and that probably works somehow. Uh, but then I got hungry again and I ate some of the batteries, but those were icky. So uh, here is your opened pack of batteries and empty bag of chips. Cudgel, these were tortilla chips. They weren't even the right flavor of chip. Jeez, I am so sorry, man. Uh, just let me pack up some, like, camping gear or something like that, and I'll spend another few weeks going to look for some. Just go ahead and make a video. I'm so glad you said that. Okay. What's going on? Um, I forget what your name is, but I'll probably remember it later. As the title of this video suggests, we're making another Sans custom amiibo today. The original Sans custom amiibo video that I made about four years ago is currently my most viewed video to date. I don't find it too hard to assume that the reason my channel is as big as it is today is largely due in part to that video. If you guys stumbled upon my channel by first viewing that Sans custom amiibo, then thank you so much for watching it and Please tell me my humor has improved since then. That video is a pain to watch. You know, now that I think about it, a lot of my videos are a pain to watch. All right, boys and girls, break out your number two pencils. It's time for a pop quiz. I hope you studied. Uh, please answer to the best of your own abilities. If I catch you cheating, then I'll just straight up murder you. True or false? What is the reason Cudgel's making this video? Is it A, because it was a commission? The answer is A, by the way. Is it B, because Culture wants to piggyback off the success of a four-year-old video? Or is it C, because he just felt like it and he doesn't need anything telling him what to do? The answer is, what the heck? I didn't see this coming. It's A and C. If you thought the answer was B, then you have clearly not seen the rest of my content or paid attention to my upload schedule. If I wanted clicks, then I would make freaking uh, Bendy and the Five Nights at Fortnite uh, Thanos Box Fort Challenge. See, even saying that out loud made me actually die a little inside. So you can imagine what would happen if I took a video like that seriously. Nah fam, this is a commission. If you want your own commission, head on down to my description and you'll see the link to my Etsy shop. Uh, go ahead and send me a message there. We might work something out. I don't do every commission. Sometimes I get really busy, but hey, we might be able to figure something out. I don't really have any plans in the near future for more of these remake an old project videos, but if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely consider it. And as always, if you have any recommendations for the next video, no matter what it is, let me know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and make a Sans custom amiibo. Again. Well, it's super nostalgic for me, but here we are making another Sans custom amiibo, this time for a commission. If you want a commission, head over to my Etsy in the description and we might be able to work something out. Most of you probably found my channel from my original Sans custom amiibo video, which I'll link in the top right corner here, so hopefully you'll enjoy this one too. I've made quite a few Sanses for commissions in the past, but this is the first one that looks significantly different enough to make a video about. 
The main differences from the original will be his arm outstretched with his hands spread open, his eyes being painted a little bit differently, and the flame coming out of his left eye. Back when I made the original, and even a little bit to this day if I'm being honest, I had a huge problem with keeping the sculpture to scale, with many of my amiibo sculptures ending up much larger than I actually wanted them to. Years later, however, I feel like I've gotten better at this, so that's a major thing I wanted to fix about this new version. Anyway, here I am sketching out how I want the figure to look. I find doing this before a custom to be really useful since I have a visual to go off of. We're going to start with the pants, which are made up of black clay rolled out and shaped into two attached cylindrical pieces. The white stripes will be painted on once the sculpture is baked. Next, I attach the body to the top of the pants. The body is just a ball of white clay that we'll be adding details to later. I made the jacket out of a rolled out piece of blue clay that I cut and wrapped around the stuff we have so far. Some of the clay left over, uh, some of the clay left over will be used for the arms and hoodie pockets. The right arm was pretty simple because it was just a bent piece of clay. I didn't bother making the hand because I planned on the end of the arm being covered in the hoodie pocket to make it look like his hand was in the pocket. For the hood, I just took a piece of grey clay and rolled it out with the ends being a little more thin than the middle. I won't be adding any texture like I did in the first Sans custom. I regret not getting more footage of this part, but for the left arm, it was just a piece of blue clay sticking out of the side of the body with his hand attached to the end. The face needs three indents. Two for the eyes, which can be easily made with this large ball tip tool that I have, and one for the nose, which is just a small triangle shape. We'll be painting the insides of these black later. You may have noticed how absolutely disgusting the clay has gotten. To fix this, I take a Q-tip with nail polish remover and scrub the areas that need to be cleaned. This is a great way to pick up those annoying little hairs and pieces of dust that accumulate while you're working. The legs will be baked separately from the body, then glued on once baked. They were pretty simple to make since the legs were each just a piece of bent clay and the slippers were two basic shapes wrapped around the ends. Before we bake the body and legs, I added the blue flame coming out of the eye. I'll be painting the inner part white later. Once everything is baked, we can paint the details. Since the first Sans Custom Amiibo video, I've changed the way that I make the bases. Instead of buying a whole me and hacking it apart, I make a base out of resin and spray paint the pieces the correct colors, 
Then I put the Me Brawler NFC chip that I found on eBay inside and glue it shut. This saves me a lot of time and money while still functioning completely as an amiibo. With the legs glued to the body and the sculpture glued to the base, I painted the white stripes onto the pants. While I didn't film me painting the face and fire details, here's what they look like. The last thing we have to do is glaze the whole sculpture to protect the paint and make it a bit more sturdy. And with that, we have completed our Sans Custom Amiibo, version 2. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I put a lot of effort into these videos, and nothing makes me happier than other people having fun watching them. Be sure to check out my social media, like my Twitter, at CudgelYouTube, for announcements, my Instagram, at CudgelCreations, for sneak peeks at future videos and high-quality pictures of customs, and my Etsy in the description if you want a commission like this one. Also be sure to check out my website, Cudgel.com, if you like web comics or want to watch other videos. The video's not over yet, so be sure to stick around for a bit longer. But thank you for watching, and now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go... Um... A squish? Uh, a Sasquatch. Yeah, now I just need to find one. Once again guys, I want to thank you so much for watching, it means the world to me that you guys enjoy this content that I make. Uh, be sure to subscribe and follow my social media in the description below, blah blah blah, whatever YouTubers say. Don't tell Robert, but I actually did get the cheesy chips he wanted me to get for him, but they're mine, so he's not getting any. <laughs>